University College Dublin is coordinating the Rete Horizon 2020 project and aims to support the pan-European interactive technologies, the effort both within industry and academia, through the multi-user interactions within the augmented reality technologies that will be evaluated in education in both professional and private contexts. The authoring tools that are used within a RETE project and the provision of access of the augmented reality content developed for the broader community of users within the European Union will increase the European innovation capacity in augmented reality. Through systematic approach and application of human-centered design, Arete will deliver highly usable, useful and desirable augmented reality technologies and contents, leading to a wider uptake and further stimulate their creative uses within the educational sector. Our initial efforts started in 2016 with the project AHA, AD Hinsby Augmented, which was funded from the European Commission for the pilot project on technologies and tools for children and young people with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. We implemented back then and integrated existing technologies in order to enhance learning for students with AD Hinsby and assist their parents and educators during the teaching and assessment process and investigate whether the combination of such technologies can assist students to stay focused, make fewer mistakes, and finish assignments in school as well as homework. The ARETE project makes a step further than this development and revolutionizes and pushes the augmented reality through three unique and comprehensive pilot studies on English literacy skills, STEM subjects and positive behaviour in schools. We will validate the technology in real-life settings. The basic principles of augmented reality in education have been observed and the technology concept has been formulated but no other system currently exists in order to bring together the different components of such a digital ecosystem. The main objectives of the Red project include to develop and evaluate the effectiveness of an interactive augmented reality contact toolkit, the application of human-centered interaction design for the Arete ecosystem, to pilot and evaluate the effectiveness of augmented reality interactive technologies, and to communicate and disseminate and explore the final project results. UCD coordinates a solid consortium for 42 months duration of the project starting 1st of November 2019 with five pan-European academic partners in collaboration with two research organizations two SMEs and one non-profit private entity over this time period of the work plan. Areto project incorporates a wide geographical coverage involving seven member states, Netherlands, Germany, Italy, Ireland, Spain, Belgium and UK, as partners of this consortium. The Areto project has the potential to expand the front runners group and will apply and disseminate the findings from the three pilot studies to many larger groups across the rest of the European countries and outside EU as well. Collectively, the partners will increase the technology innovation capacity of Europe in terms of augmented reality development. Our partner, European Schoolnet, which is a non-profit private entity, from Belgium will primarily provide access to the broader European community for the three pilot studies. Moreover, the project will deliver results through industry, academia, stakeholders and the global standardization bodies 
in order to disseminate and maximize the result of the scientific, societal and economic impact derived. In terms of the methodology within our project, we plan to develop and evaluate the effectiveness of the interactive augmented reality content to deliver activity-based rich augmented reality experiences within the school context, which still poses a significant challenge, develop the ecosystem of tools, services, applications needed to deliver high-quality learning experiences in a school setting, provide templates and examples of rich augmented reality activities involving a comprehensive set of classroom and home study materials. We will identify a user-centric interaction design for the Arete ecosystem and we will develop and evaluate the effectiveness of such a disruptive augmented reality methodology in education through our three pilot studies. The Arete ecosystem concept enables disruptive innovation of augmented reality for interactions, access and distribution of augmented reality content to be fully realized through these three pilots. The aim of pilot one is to make both teaching and learning English language literacy more accessible and successful for those teachers and children engaged in the process Pilot 2 is focusing on the innovative and exciting way of learning geometry and geography and that's with a focus on visualization and interaction. And Pilot 3, which is the positive behavior in schools pilot, is focusing on the development of the augmented reality solutions in order to be embedded within the context of the framework of PBIS. European Schoolnet is the network of 34 European Ministries of Education and is based in Brussels. As a non-profit organization, it aims to bring innovation in teaching and learning to its key stakeholders, which is the Ministries of Education, schools, teachers, researchers and industry partners. Within Pilot 1, European Schoolnet will coordinate 16 classrooms following the full course and 16 classrooms as a control group. The target are English classes within these schools and we will focus on the countries of Ireland, Malta and any other European American schools in Europe that have English speaking language. We plan to have more than 120 students in Pilot 1. In Pilot 2, European Schoolnet will coordinate 170 classrooms and we plan for more than 3,000 students uh, around Europe and the kits will be developed in eight different languages. In Pilot 3, we will evaluate the effect of the integration of augmented reality within the PDIS uh, methodology and uh, VU Amsterdam partner will be carrying out the in-classroom follow-up while European Schoolnet will connect with the different stakeholders. We plan to have around more than 500 primary school students across Italy and the Netherlands within this pilot. Within the project, we have measurable results we have specific KPIs that we have to achieve and we have specific means of measure for the impact of the project. Augmented reality recently achieved rapid growth. Its applications have been in many different industries and notably in education and entertainment. Now, despite the growth of attraction of augmented reality, Trend analysis in these emerging technology have relied only on qualitative literature reviews, failing to provide a comprehensive 
competitive intelligence analysis using objective data. In Arete, the process for ensuring that we deliver a sustainable competitive ecosystem is borne out by a number of factors, including we have direct engagement of leading organizations in the project through the Industry Capacity Board. We have the intelligent and compelling pilots with analysis of objective data to assess the impact of augmented reality technology. We have a carefully devised market outreach approach and we have applied innovative approach whereby engagement for bi-directional foreign demonstrations with the target community is the foreground of this project. Arete project is not just a Horizon 2020 project. It's an actual investment for XR technologies in education. And now, more than ever, we require innovative solutions that will bring education anywhere, anytime. Instead of sustaining the innovation and developing technologies that we focus only on improving the performance of current products or services, we aim to have disruptive innovation in education where new technologies are available from industry and they might have lower performance initially but may be attractive to certain markets owing to some features that are not valued by the established marketplace. As the project coordinator of the Arete project, now more than ever, in my opinion, we need disruptive innovation with accessible learning content to our education system. <music>